fat bikes. Chances are, if you found this video, you might be thinking, I want to be able to keep riding through this winter. Maybe I should buy a fat bike. That was my plan three years ago anyways. If you Google up fat bike, you'll see these beautiful photos of people riding at ski resorts, sun shining, big smiles on their faces. It's compelling to say the least. It was enough to sell me on one anyways. Now before I go any further, no I did not buy a $4,000 carbon fat bike. But that's not the problem. What I have is a generic fat bike sold at most department stores worldwide. I've seen it branded everything from a Schwinn to a Mongoose, mine's claiming to be an Iron Horse. Either way, they all have basically the same identical components with just variations in paint and decals. And yes, I did swap out the horrible grip shifter for a 7 speed trigger shifter. So the bike is heavy, but it's a fat bike, and I can do all the basic things you'd expect to be able to do on one. I can wheelie, I can buddy hop, I can tread the trails just fine. Here's where the problems really start. It's the weather. In southern Ontario, Canada, it should be perfect for fat bikes, right? Well, you see, a lot of the photos online are not people shredding the gnar through 8 inches of sweet, fresh powder. They're at ski resorts or on groomed for rail trails. Trails that you could ride on just about any mountain bike or even a gravel bike with no trouble at all. Now listen, I'm just as guilty as everyone else for throwing a photo of my fat bike up on Instagram, sitting in fresh powder, spraying about how rad I am while you're sitting at home watching Netflix. But the sad reality of this photo is, is when I remounted the bike, I couldn't actually get moving again, and I had to walk my bike until I got to a section with less snow. That's right, seated, I didn't have enough power to plow this monster through 8 inches of wet snow. Stand up, and the weight comes off the rear tire and you just spin. These bikes are not able to do much on technical terrain if there's a bunch of fresh wet snow on the ground, let alone a big climb. Now my final problem with the bike, going back to the photos that drew me in in the first place. Here in Ontario, things are changing. Gone are the days when it would start snowing in November and stay till it started to melt in early May. We get as much rain as we do snow now. And if you have a Monday to Friday 9 to 5, unless you're going to ride in the dark, you pretty much only have Saturday and Sunday. Here's the weather for me the weekend of December 28th last year. And then the following weekend? And then the following weekend we had the epic snow day where I ended up walking my bike more than I rode it. Listen, not everyone is going to agree with what I'm saying here. But this is my experience and there's a reason why gravel bikes have been taken off in the last few years. But if you're intent on going with a fat bike and you live in the Toronto area, show me out on Instagram. I'd be happy to sell you mine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.